Southern sea otters are listed as threatened under the Federal Endangered Species Act and listed as a fully protected species by the state of California. Once numbering in the tens of thousands, sea otters in California were reduced to less than 50 individuals as a result of hunting during the fur trade. Since gaining protection in 1911, the California population has slowly increased and expanded its geographic range. However, times of stagnant or decreasing population numbers have been of great concern to researchers. This keystone species plays a critical role in maintaining healthy kelp forest ecosystems, and as a sentinel species, they are excellent indicators of nearshore marine ecosystem health. To better understand factors influencing species conservation and recovery and the health of the marine environment, research projects have required the safe capture of sea otters. Sea otters are captured, tagged, biosampled, and intensively monitored. The most selective method of capturing sea otters is using an underwater approach by specially trained divers. There are a small number of specially trained state and federal biologists qualified to capture sea otters. These divers use specialized diving equipment called rebreathers, which do not produce any bubbles. These rebreathers are not available to recreational divers, but are a military design that delivers 100% oxygen. The divers don their equipment, enter the water, and surface next to the boat. A diver propulsion vehicle and a large netted trap called a Wilson trap are passed down to them. Each diver connects their trap to the end of their diver propulsion vehicle, does a final check of their gear, and signals they are ready to go. These clandestine divers now begin the long underwater transit to the resting otters they've targeted. During this transit, the lead diver skillfully navigates the diver propulsion vehicle and trap through the kelp forest while maintaining the compass heading to the targets. Biologists on shore and on the boat keep an eye on the resting otters and also watch for the lead diver's head to break through the surface for a head check. The lead diver has a small VHF radio in a pocket on their dive hood and can hear instructions from the shore and boat spotters. This topside information helps the dive team modify their approach if necessary, if the otters have changed position or conditions have changed. The lead diver descends and continues to periodically make head checks until the divers can see the target otters and they can stage their underwater approach. Once in position under the resting sea otters, the divers, without bubbles, can study the group and select the primary targets they picked out while on the boat. Once both divers have chosen their targets and have traps in position six to eight feet below the unsuspecting otters, they coordinate their ascent to the surface. The divers power the diver propulsion vehicle while kicking hard, pushing the diver propulsion vehicle and trap through the kelp canopy so the trap will envelop the otter. Once the otter is in the trap, the diver pulls a drawstring, closing the net and securing the otter in the trap. With traps securely holding the otters, both divers then surface and give a hand signal to the boat requesting a pickup. The capture boat quickly zooms into the kelp bed to pick up the divers and captured sea otters. The divers hand up their gear and reboard the boat and the newly captured otters are transferred from the diver traps into large wooden boxes designed specifically to hold and transport otters. Once on shore, a team of scientists including veterinarians, biologists, and assistants prep each otter for sedation and a full medical evaluation. Morphometric data and samples are collected to help increase our knowledge about sea otter morphology, biology, and physiology, and each otter is outfitted with colored flipper tags for subsequent identification. 
A subset of animals receive implanted radio tags, which allow researchers to relocate and monitor these animals intensely from shore using radio receivers and high-powered optics. Capturing wild sea otters provides a way to measure and monitor sea otter health, allowing scientists and resource managers to make informed decisions concerning conservation of this vulnerable species.